Good morning everyone, this is Sandra, hello, and it's Friday morning and I'm just about to start the day. So my husband's just left for work and I haven't had my breakfast yet, I might have some Weetabix in a bit. It's just my coffee. And I apologise if I look tired. <laughs> um, my cat Morris decided last night that he wanted to go out and I wouldn't let him out because the temperatures outside are a minus and so he decided to stand at the front door and meow and rattle the blinds for about six hours straight so thank goodness for earplugs and the problem is I could have let him out and you know he's an indoor outdoor cat but the problem is that I feared that with it being super cold last night and he doesn't always come back he doesn't always just go to the toilet and then come back he runs across to the golf course and then he'll mess around for an hour and I'm, I'm having to call him and so I worry you know and then I would be awake so and that's what I do most nights I wait for him to come back but last night I was just super super tired and so I kept him in so um, whether that makes me a good parent or a bad parent but ultimately it, it I felt it would be irresponsible of me to um, leave him out all night. He didn't agree with me, but <laughs> but then he never does. So this morning I got up at six and I let him out, and at six o five he was back at the back door. I've got like a, I've got a little house out there for him that I've got, you know. That he can sit in and he's got stuff inside to keep him warm but he's such a fat potato now that his head sticks out so he goes in there but then he will you know I, I just worry so roll on less of the minus temperatures and then he can stay out all night <laughs> like a little monster but yeah, I mean, I don't think I've had a good night's sleep since I started getting cats because they always wake you up. And, he, and then he keeps Lulu awake, the little one who sleeps with me. So she can't sleep then. So anyhow, that's, that's probably why I look tired or just normal to me. <laughs> um, another thing I wanted to say was that I don't wear uh, a lot of makeup and I didn't really want to start my YouTube channel piling on a lot of makeup because you know I'm a, I'm an esthetician so skin is my thing so on a daily basis I don't wear any makeup whatsoever I like to keep, keep my skin really clear because I do and I have in the past and I still do suffer with cystic acne which I can keep well under control now and maybe get one every now and then but I find that any makeup that I use and that I've seen on customers in the past it will still go down into the pores and cause some kind of problem and I know that there's a lot of different makeup brands out there I have tried a lot I've been an esthetician for many many years I've tried a lot I've seen a lot of people come through and ultimately even if you clean your face really really well some people are just more susceptible for different reasons so i just wanted to point out that's why i don't wear a lot of makeup but i do like for today i put a little bit of eyeshadow on and some lipstick and just a tiny tiny bit of blush just to so i don't look dead <laughs> because I'm very pale so that is one of the things that you won't see a lot of in my videos with a lot of heavy makeup so I like just to, you to see me as I am uh, on a daily basis how I am normally so if I'm going out which I am going today this is what I would normally look like 
So, you know, nothing special, no special brows, no special anything, just, just try to keep it as nice and clean as possible just so that I don't get a big cystic one because when they do come up and I did have one start coming up a couple of weeks ago, I can treat it and get it to, I get it under control now, but it takes a long time for them to come up and go away. It can take months. So I'm willing to, to wait that out now, which is why I don't put any concealer on it. I don't want to cover it up or anything. I just let it do its stuff. And then hopefully it will just go back to bed. <laughs> So, two of the things I wanted to talk about today, even though I've just rattled on for the last last five minutes, were two of the um, Christmas presents that I received, and one of them is this necklace, and I love it. It's a, I lost two of my fur babies two years ago now, and it's still difficult to talk about. It always is, so um, on my Instagram popped up this company called My Name Necklace and I had the little bars put on because they, they, they do jewellery that you can have names put on you know of children <laughs> of children and parents really but uh, I, you know I wanted my fur babies names put on so I had Jack and Anna put on there and then uh, you get a little pearl with this one and I can always wear it around my neck so I thought that was a nice that was just really nice little Christmassy gift and um, yeah I got that they that turned up on Christmas Eve so I got that in good time so I really like that and I'll just show you the names because they are engraved if if you can see Hopefully you can see that. So that was a, a good Christmas present that my husband bought me. He didn't know he was buying it me, but yeah, he did. <laughs> and I wanted to also show you the favorite t-shirt in my closet that I have at the moment that I also um, had as a Christmas present. And it is from a company called Wholesome Culture. And Part of my transition in to have a smaller, more minimalist closet, it's not that I want to only have five items in my closet. I just want to be really, really specific about what I'm buying from now on. But I also have decided that what I want to do through this journey, through this new part journey, is to to be careful where I'm spending my money and not not so much spend it on some of the fast fashions that are out there but some of the slower ones more ethically sourced and they can be you know let's face it if you go to forever 21 or somewhere cheap you can pick up a cheap t-shirt let's face it I don't always agree with the practices of how they've been made so I thought well if I'm still buying from those places then I'm still supporting that so I would rather put the money into more ethically made things where I know that people have been treated better, been paid a decent wage, the clothing has been sourced either from vintage or you know and the company stands behind, has a good um, philosophy to stand behind so this this particular t-shirt I think it cost me $25 but I, I will try and keep it for the long excuse me the longest time if I can and their website says they inspire a cruelty free lifestyle so and and it says wholesome culture is a state of mind and being it's about living mindfully and in consideration of others and letting that guide how you live that includes what you wear, what you eat, because they're all vegans, I believe. I'm sorry if I'm wrong about that. I believe they are. And how you treat the planet, animals, and each other. And I like that because that is something I stand behind. It's a transition. Everything's a transition when you when you start these things. You can't just get rid of your old closet and then just get in whole because then you're adding more clothing to the landfills. And 
it's it's silly to do that so I just make sure that every new piece that I have coming in I really think about what I'm buying where I'm buying it from and how it's going to fit into my lifestyle and also the philosophy like I've said behind the company so I'll show you this one I actually look like a bee today because I didn't realize it's that cold that I wore a cuddle dot underneath it so it's short sleeved it says plant these and it literally has all the different plants that you can plant and then it says save the bees and I do plant some of those in my garden. And I'm just wearing harem pants with this outfit. So I'll just show you. So these are just nice loose fitting harem pants that I like. And yeah, this is definitely my favorite tea. I love the color. It'll go through spring. It's cold now, so I just layer it up with a cuddle dud. And yeah, I just, I really, really like it. I bought the extra large and I am a one to two X US style. And when it came, it was so big. I thought, oh my gosh, that's, that's too big for me. And I put it on and it fit. <laughs> so, I thought, oh, crap. so, and I've washed it twice now as well. And there's been, I wanted it to shrink up a little bit, not too much, but a little bit. So um, from now on, now I've got it to fit me nicely. I'll just be doing it in a cold wash and just let it air dry. Um, so that's so that's what I'm wearing today, and I've been rabbiting on for ten minutes, <laughs> ten minutes, and I'm just waiting for FedEx to turn up, and then once they've been, I will go shopping. You know, as some of you know who know me. I live in a very small town. I hope I'm okay saying that. In an, in Illinois. So, you know, I mean, we have a Walmart and two small grocers. Oh, we have an Aldi, which I like, because I can pick up international food, uh, some international food. But there's there's not a great deal in this town, but it's a, it's, I like it. I like the people, they're very friendly and i like the lifestyle because it's quite laid back uh, out, outside uh, you know my house backs onto a cornfield so I, I like where i, I love where i live to be honest so yeah so uh, i hope this video adds some meaning to somebody any anyhow i just wanted to just share some little musings and just a wee little bit about myself and I hope you all have a good day and keep yourself safe. Keep your cats in if it's freezing temperatures, <laughs> even if they don't like it. And I will talk to you all again soon. Bye.